Hello and welcome to another Raggies, Beers, Wines and Spirits review. It's Friday night, thank God. Um, tonight I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing the lager, Men Menabria. Menabria? Menabria. Whatever. Premium lager, 4.8%, so we're in that stellar um, area of strength. First time tasting, so this will be interesting. Oh, flipping day today. And, uh, thank God it's over. Thank God it's the weekend, that's all I can say. If I don't get a new job soon, my God. <sighs> but anyway, let's get on with a bit here. Talk about, and then you leave work. Nottingham is in gridlock. Uh, we've got three bridges in Nottingham, Clifton Bridge, Lady Bay, Trent Bridge, and I think there's Gunthorpe as well, so there's four that go over water. And one of the bridges has been deemed unsafe, so they've stopped cars going across this bridge, which then floods the rest of the city. A city that struggles as it is, and it created pure gridlock on the way home tonight. I mean, it took me 28 minutes to get home which wasn't bad really, and I had to do a lot of, I know, I know all the back roads and the, you know, the cheaty bits to get home, but my God, way too many cars on the road. And dog's barking. So, I'm gonna kill him. One second. That's better. You see, other people, you don't get this with other people's reviews, do you? You know, they're much more edited. I don't edit. It's as it is. Here he comes. Come for a nosy now. No? No, I've seen something. So anyway, on with the lager. Uh, straw to gold colour. White head. Obviously, you can see great, massive carbonation and lacing there. Probably a good thing sometimes to let it die down a bit, because obviously you don't want that all that going into your belly. So on the nose, gotta say, <sighs> smells like any other lager, if I'm being honest. That light malty taste, uh, aroma, and um, hay grass, that sort of thing. I can definitely smell that on there. But when I sucked it, that first uh, little sip, very smooth on the mouth. Go off the floor. Go that way. You can't hear me anyway, so if I, if I told him to F off, he still wouldn't be able to understand me. And if he sat down for a minute, it'd be nice. But yeah, very smooth. Um, not a lager I'm familiar with. Um, qualita Asicurata da. Ultra Un Secolo. So is it French? Is it Italian? I can't bloody tell. Bad, isn't it? You know, I really ought to do my research. But uh, hey ho, you can't win them all. So, quickly look at that. Ah, Biele Italia. So it's Italian. Ah, interesting. So, aimed. Obviously trying to take something away from the Birmaretti and Peroni dominance because they have dominated the market, them two. Especially Italian premium beers. They've really um, got a foothold, especially Peroni. Peroni's massive. I mean, you see these Peroni bars and you think, yeah, it's okay. It's not that good. There are better lagers out there, but it's just... Um, some get a good name, and the, the price of Peroni is damn expensive. And uh, it's comparable for me with most of the other world lagers. But obviously, uh, got a good name for itself, and obviously you can't fault them. If they, if they, you can sell your product for the maximum amount, then it's good for you, because obviously, maximum amount, more profit. And yet in some countries, I did read this with Peroni, in some countries, it's... They don't rate it at all, and it sells a hell of a lot cheaper. So it just goes to show you, uh, are we being robbed in Britain? Most likely. So 
So I've come home from a very long day at work and um, not enjoyable. You, um, I went from a job that I enjoyed 80% of the time to a job I enjoy 30% of the time. And uh, when, I'm out, I'm, when I'm out on my own, I'm, I'm alright. It's when I get back to the yard. Oh, toxic people ruin jobs, don't they? And uh, sometimes I have to look at myself when I was younger and think to myself, was I the art, oh, the person that this person at work is? And uh, mm. it's uh, sometimes, you know, the best of us, the best of us look at ourselves and think, yeah, I'm being the arsehole. But uh, some people are so opinionated and so up their own backsides that they can't see it. And uh, I question myself daily. And I think that's, personally in life, I think that's the best way to be. Uh, try not to upset people and that. I mean, I, blew, I was blowing some leaves today and this bloke come out. They start to have a go. And I'm like, well, well done, minute. If I've blown any of yours, I'll blow it back. And he's like, mm, and it was a proper <laughs> dick. For want of a better word. But anyway, back to the beer, because that's what it always matters about, doesn't it? So my editing... Um, is going well. I'm on 135 now. Reviews I've edited, putting descriptions in, blah, blah blah, and putting hashtags in because it all helps promote the channel. Which is, you know, you try and build it anyway, whether it works or not. That'll be another thing. So this is actually quite a nice. It's not too gassy. And uh, obviously better than the likes of Stella. I would definitely put this very close to what Bira Moretti is. I think Bira Moretti is the better out the Peroni anyway. But at, um, yeah, not bad at all. Obviously good strength. It's aimed at that 4.8% uh, area of the market, which is the premium lagers, as it says on the front anyway. Oh, it says BA, yeah, Italia there now. And I'm trying to read the little writing up there. Mm. It's funny today, it is four degrees, same as yesterday, yet today I'm absolutely roasted. So it just goes to show you, it's funny, isn't it? You come into these rooms, <sighs> not gone cold yet, which is good. Uh, so, definitely thinking of um, doing a a load of beer kits, a load of wine kits and that. I've got, I'm, um, Shipping out some of this homebrew wine because pff, I'm never going to get my way through it. Uh, even though I have a pint of night, if I can help it, you know, trying to helps me sleep anyway. Or that I don't know if I dare have a pint of prune juice wine. There's you know there's limits to what I will drink. Yeah, I mean imagine in the middle of the night. If, say if you had a pint and it, you're whacked out and, you're like, and then in the middle of the night when you're fast asleep and you don't know you drop a you drop a fart out because it happens. Trust me. If you think your wife don't fart, you stay awake a bit longer. And then she's absolutely fast asleep next minute. <coughs> and it, ha it happens. Imagine doing that in the middle of the night and then having a, you know, an issue. Oh, a potent issue. Yeah. It's not worth going down that street, is it? So, I'm going to give my mate a load of it. I can't wait for him to say to me, you bastard. Fucking shit myself, dinner. I drank your wine, drank too much and I shit myself and that, that I can't wait for, but it might happen. And I hope it does. Not, not that I'm an arse, I just hope it does. So, amazing how quick the time goes down. Um, what can I say? This is a really nice lager. Um, Definitely the quality end of lagers. God knows what I paid for it. I can't remember. Two quid a bottle probably. But it's it's worth buying. It's worth trying. If you like your Bira Moretti, your Peroni, Stara Proman, you know, your high, not high end lagers, but your, your more premium lagers, you're going to love this. Um, I like it.
I mean, let's be fair, lagers are just there to quench you first. Um, the beast they are, you know, we all know what they are. Um, first quenching beer, uh, lagers rather, a first quenching drink, something to, you know, to wallop down you to get yourself drunk. But, um, you know, you, that's an honest thing. A lot of people will drink can after can. Uh, I, I don't really... I've done it over the years, you know, I've, I've watched England play and when you watch England play, you need a can or two or three. I mean, I've, I've drank eight pints in an hour and a half watching England play and the rest of the night I was on the toilet weeing, but um, God, the amount of fluid. Right, so, with this fella, because I'm running out of time, it's the battery's gone down at a, such a rate of knots. Um, obviously, gold straw pour, white head, great carbonation lacing, uh, light malt, hay grass on nose, on the taste, a lovely smoothness, a really nice taste to it. Um, for me, definitely, if you like your Peronis and you like your beer and Moretti, shit, it's going to go off. Um, you'll love this. Out of five, then, bloody hell, 4.4 out of five. Thanks for watching. See you soon.